welcome to Bar with Mary. It is day four of your seven day feel good challenge. Today's class, we are gonna use two things, a yoga block and a set of light weights. Now, if you don't have these things, no big. Go ahead and go grab a book, like a heavy hardcover book that can absolutely stand in for our thigh and seat work series. And for weights, you can absolutely just grab a couple of water bottles or a couple cans of beans and that should fill in just fine for your weights. Set your weights off to the side for now, but hold onto your block and we're gonna get started with this full body bar class. Take your feet really wide. All 10 toes are pointing forward. I want you to squeeze the block at the center of your chest and bend into your right knee. Now really pull your hip bones back, push your inner thighs away from each other and then take this into skater lunges. Go left and right. It's left and right. So we're moving from side to side. I want you to feel that just like in a squat, the weight of your hips are going back while your torso is hinging forward so that your shoulders are really stacked over your knees and your hips are reaching toward the baseboard or the wall behind you. Your weight is back into your heels and we're starting to build a little bit of heat here into the lower body. We're staying neutral through the spine so you're really long through both sides of your waist. You're getting maybe to the right in four, three, two, hold it to the right, just drop the hips little down, little down. Now squeeze the block between your palms. Lift your heart up towards the block and then feel your shoulder blades soften down your back. So while you're keeping the abdominals engaged, you're also keeping the chest lifted here. Eight more presses, eight, six, here for four, three, two, stay low, take a big breath in. And as you do that, reach the block up and over to the right on the diagonal. On your exhale, left knee is gonna pull in here and tap the block. And then inhale, reach, pick it up, go, tap, and reach, hit tap, and reach. So finding some balance work here on the standing right leg. For today's class, things are gonna be a little different. Rather than separating our thigh and our seat work, we're merging them. So we're gonna have a really long series, <laughs> and it's all standing work. So this is a great opportunity to start to get your balance on the standing right leg. Four more, three more, Two more, the last one, hold it long, inhale. Exhale, bend to the left knee, skater lunges, right and left, you've got it, right and left. So now, second time through, maybe you take your feet a little wider. Really feel your inner thighs pressing away from each other. So while yes, this is building heat, you're also getting a little bit of opening for the inner thighs, a little bit of strength building into the outer glutes as well. Go four more. Three more, hold it to the left in two. Last one to the right, hold it left, little pulse down and down and down. Feel your left hip drawing back. Push into your heels and actively squeeze the block. Feel the shoulders draw down the back. Go eight, six, here for four, three, two, hold, inhale, reach the block up to the left. Exhale, right knee pulls in, you tap. Inhale, reach, pick it up, go, tap, reach, tap, reach. You're getting really long, especially through the right side of your waist as you reach everything out. Left knee stays soft, and then really feel your outer left glute squeezing here so that we're finding some balance and some support on one leg. Four more times. Four, three, two, the last one, hold it long. Inhale, come set and reach the block overhead. Exhale, wide leg forward fold. Take the block down to the mat and then just enjoy a nice stretch here. Do anything that feels good for you. Maybe you sway the upper body. Maybe you bend one knee and then the other. Maybe you shake out your head. Now on your next inhale, I want you to bend both knees. And on your exhale, extend your legs straight, reaching the sitting bones up to the sky. Again, inhale, bend. Exhale, reach two more times. Inhale, bend. Exhale, lift. Last time. Hold the lift. Take a breath. And then on your exhale, bring the block with you as you walk your hands over to the left side of your mat. Take the block the long way as you step back into a high plank, the block is gonna be in between your hands that wide way. So it's really kind of the same width <laughs> as your mat, I guess, it's the long width of your mat. <laughs> that was not a very clear description. Just find a high plank, we'll get there, I promise. <laughs> Spread your fingers wide. 
squeeze your thumbs towards each other, and please always know that tapping your knees to the mat is an amazing option. Now I want your focus to be on your hips. Our hips are not going to move. As we take our right hand, tap the block, bring the right hand back to the mat. Switch. Left hand taps the block, left hand back to the mat, pick it up, go right hand, left hand, go right hand, and left hand. So what I hope you're noticing is how much work you have to do in your abdominals to keep your hips stable. So if it means you need to come to your knees, then I'd rather you come to your knees and really keep the hips from rocking from side to side. Four more, go four. Three, two, last one, lift the hips, downward dog. Press the mat away, feel the inner thighs are rotating in and back, and then really feel how open you can get through the backs of the legs here. Take a big inhale, and a big exhale. Lift up to your tippy toes in your next inhale, roll through the spine, coming back to your high plank, Tap down onto your forearms, and then bring the block in between your hands here. So you have this beautiful 11 shape in your forearms. Elbows are under your armpits, hands are squeezing in on the block. Push down through your pinky fingers, draw your shoulder blades down the back, and then really feel how your abdominals lift up to the sky here. We're just going to hold in stillness, squeezing in on the block, feeling our shoulder blades get really wide. And then feel the back side of the rib cage drawing up to the ceiling here. So you're really knitting the front low ribs together and drawing them skyward. Big long inhale gets you a little bit longer in the spine. And a big exhale engages your abdominals deeper. Just hold and breathe for eight, seven. Make sure the back of the neck stays really, really long here. You're here for four, for three, for two, lower the hips, untuck the toes, find Sphinx Pose. Flip your palms down to press into the mat, then really actively pull your elbow tips back as you roll your shoulders down your back and lift your heart. Big breath in, and a big breath out. One more time, inhale, exhale. Grab the block. And send the block long out in front of you, letting your nose come to just gently tap your mat. Now push down at the tops of your feet, and feel how when you push down at the tops of your feet, you squeeze your thighs. That's what I want. Now push your pubic bone down, take an inhale, and as you exhale, feel your abdominals drawing up towards the ceiling just like you did in your forearm plank. Keep that strong abdominal engagement. On your next inhale, float the block a few inches off the floor. And then exhale, tap the block back down. Inhale, block lifts. Exhale, tap. So the only thing that's lifting here is your arms. The legs and the chest are staying down. Your nose is staying, just gently tapping the mat. And we're finding some engagement for the upper back and the shoulders. Three more times. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, tap. Back of the next day is really long. Now this time, float the block a few inches off the floor, hold it, push down with the tops of your feet to start to squeeze the block. Go squeeze, and squeeze so your hands are drawing in on the block. Feel your shoulder blades drawing down your back, and see if you can pull the tips of your ears forward to elongate the back of the neck even more. Eight more squeezes, here, go. Eight, six, here for four, three, two, hold that squeeze, inhale. Maybe as you exhale, you stay where you are, or maybe you let your legs float a few inches off the mat, getting even longer and squeezing everything in toward midline. Hold and breathe for four, three, two. Take the block back in, hands into the shoulders, press back, child's pose. Big toes together, knees wide, amazing job. If it feels good, you're welcome to circle your wrists here, or maybe you wanna just rock from side to side in the hips, whatever feels right. Big inhale, and a big exhale. Lock yourself up to seated. Swing your legs around in front of you, and grab your block. We're gonna lay all the way back on our backs, coming into our only abdominal series of the day. 
So I want you to start with your feet planted and your knees bent. Reach the block up to the sky between your palms, just like you had it in your forearm plank. Actually, just like you have the spinal extension work as well. <laughs> now from here, lift just your heels off of the mat so the balls of the feet stay down. Take a big inhale, feel the rib cage fill out three-dimensionally. And then on your exhale, I want you to squeeze your hand on the block. And as you do that, feel how deeply you can engage your abdominals. So your pubic bone draws up to your belly button and the sides of your waist tug in. Now inhale, release the squeeze on the block. This time as you exhale, you squeeze the block and you also float your right leg up to a tabletop position. Inhale, release the squeeze, lower the right leg and you switch. Exhale, squeeze the block, float the left leg up. Inhale, everything releases. Keep going like that, marching right leg and lower and marching left leg and lower. So the block is a really useful tool to help get even deeper into the transverse abdominis, that deepest layer of your abdominals, the base layer of your core. So it wraps all the way around you and it is what truly supports your midsection. Your transverse abdominis is so crucial to find activation in order to get more effective abdominal work. So every time you squeeze the block, I want you to feel your hip bones on the front side of your body wrapping closer towards each other. Your low belly band pulls down towards the mat and then your front low ribs knit in and down towards the floor. Two more times right here. Exhale, right leg lift. And inhale, lower. Last time, left leg up. Now this time, exhale, float your right leg up. Hold it. Take a breath in. Exhale, squeeze the block. Pull the abdominals in and down and float the left leg up to meet the right. Now keep your legs where they are. Take the block. Push it into the front of your right thigh. Right hand comes to the block. Left hand stacks on top of it. Inhale. Now as you exhale, I want you to push into the block. And as you push the block forward, I want you to also pull your right thigh bone back. Feel how deeply you fire up the right side obliques. Inhale, release that push. Now again, we're gonna exhale, push into the block, and we're gonna allow our left leg to extend forward. And then inhale, everything comes back to center, release the push, just like that. Exhale, reach. And inhale in. Exhale, push into the block. Inhale, release, keep going. Left leg reaches out. The left leg pulls in. Now, if this is too much for your right side hip flexor, you can do this series with your right foot down on the mat, just like so, okay? It's not gonna be quite as challenging. In terms of the push, you won't be able to get as much leverage to push into the block. But if this is all right hip flexor, then take that variation, okay? I would much rather you feel this in your transverse abdominis, your deep core, then just your hip flexor, two more. Exhale, and inhale. Last time, full range out. And in, now extend your left leg out, hold it. Flex your left foot, pulse your left leg down one inch. Little pulse, little pulse. Now I want you to continue to push into the block, feeling the pubic bone drawing up towards the rib cage. Eight more pulses here, go eight. Go six, relax your shoulders, go four, three, Two, left leg back to tabletop. Switch, block comes to the left thigh. Left hand into the block. Right hand presses on top. Take a big breath in. This first time, stay still in the legs. Just press into the block and pull your left thigh back. Feel that deep engagement with the left side obliques. Inhale, release the press on the block. Exhale, engage, pressing into the block. And it's the right leg that extends out on your exhale. Inhale, everything center. Exhale, everything out. Inhale in, and exhale, fire. Beautiful, keep going like that. Now as you push into the block, notice if you're tensing really deeply into your face, into your neck, into your shoulders. Try to keep that tension as much as possible in the core. So we're really feeling the left side obliques wrapping in and hugging down three more times or reach it out. Draw it in, two more, exhale. Inhale, the last time full range, exhale up. And in now this time, keep the right leg out. Flex through the right foot and just pulse your right leg down an inch, down an inch. Continue to pull your left thigh back as you press your palms into the block. Eight more pulses here, go eight, go six. 
here for four, three, two, draw the right knee in, take the block between the hands. Extend the black block back up to the sky, squeeze it between your palms, take a big breath in. As you exhale, take the block overhead and inhale right back up. You've got it, exhale back and inhale up. Now layer one, you're right here. If this is bothering your hip flexors, you can also bring the balls of the feet back to the mat and really focus on squeezing your hands in on the block and keeping the rib cage hanging down. If you're ready for a little bit more, we're gonna add both legs. Ready, stretch everything out, pull everything in. Exhale, squeeze the block. Inhale, soften the shoulders. Yeah, you got it, exhale out. And inhale in four more times, go reach. And center, beautiful work, three more, it's out. And in, we're gonna hold it into go out. And in, now this time hold everything out. Squeeze the block, draw your pubic bone up, and then feel the low belly band pulling down towards the mat. Hold here for eight. Maybe draw your legs one inch lower. Here for four, three, two. Hug the knees to the chest. Set the block down. Just allow yourself to rock from side to side. <sighs> Take a big inhale and a big exhale. However you want to find your way to a downward dog, please do that. I'm going to rock and roll along my spine, flip up and over, <laughs> not super gracefully, and just come into a downward dog from there. Feel free to take a pedaling of the feet or any other variation that feels good for you in your down dog. Get yourself emotionally, mentally prepared. We are going to come into our thigh seat combo. It is going to be quite a long series, so make sure that you are breathing <laughs> and you are knowing that more is coming, not giving it your all in this first exercise. <laughs> Take a breath. And as you exhale, walk hands and feet to meet. Grab your block, grab your weights, and then roll yourself up. I shouldn't say don't give it your all. You should, of course, give it your all. Just <laughs> no, maybe don't give it everything in the tank. Okay, we got this. Take your block, and you want to be about two to three feet from a wall or a chair, okay? I probably should have said that earlier. So I'm a couple of feet away from my wall here. Our right foot is going to come on the block. Our left foot is going to go right next to the block on the ground. One weight is in either hand. I want you to squeeze the weights, and then I want you to come down into a squat position. Now just hold your squat for a moment. I'm going to scoot back just a little bit more so I don't run into my plant here. Pull your hips back, push your right heel into the block, and then see if you can sink even a little bit lower. Now double check that you have that beautiful core engagement you just set up in that abdominal series. Ribs are hugging in, sides of the waist are hugging in, and you're staying in neutral, so the whole spine is really long. From here, we're gonna rise up, and we're gonna squat back down. It's inhale, rise, and exhale, squat. Let's do it faster, go up and down. Go rise and squat. Now in this position, it can be really tempting to take more weight into the left foot. I'm gonna challenge you to really focus on the right foot driving into the block. Four more, three more, two more. Now we're gonna hold this one low, just fly your arms open and close. The arms go fly and squeeze. I'm just gonna do one arm because as you heard, I'm hitting the wall and go fly and squeeze. If you have this space, please fly both arms, okay? If you're not limited like I am. <laughs> We're staying low in the legs. We're driving our right heel into the block. And then shoulders are continuing to glide down the back so that our neck is nice and long. Four more flies, go four. Three, two, Keep the fly, just pulse it an inch up, go a little up, little up, little up. So feel your shoulder blades squeezing in towards center. Feel the neck getting really long. And then see if you can sink the hips a little lower. Eight more pulses with your arms, go eight, six, go four, three, two. Squeeze the weights back together at the chest. Take an inhale. As you exhale, start to pulse your hips down and down and down. It's a little drop of the hips. Go drop and drop. Press your inner thighs away from one another. 
and really feel how much you're reaching back with your pelvis as your torso hinges forward so that your shoulders are stacked over your knees. Eight more, here I go, eight, six, here for a four, three, two, stay low, inhale. As you exhale, I want you to step your left foot back, lift your shoulders so they stack over your hips, then bend both knees, you're in this upright lunge, let your arms extend down towards the floor. Hammer curl, in, press everything up to the sky, lower down your lunge, extend the arms, faster, go, in and up, and lunge, extend, it's in, and press. So your right foot is still on the block, your left foot is back behind you here. Feet should still be hips distance, just like they were in a squat position. I want you to feel your right heel driving into the block, and then really actively pull your right hip back. So we're staying square in the pelvis. It can be tempting in this position to rotate the pelvis open to the left. So I want you to really focus on keeping your hips pointing straight forward on the same plane as each other. Two more here. In and up and lunge. Extend, last one goes in. Now stay low in the legs, hammer curl. In and up, you've got it in and up. Back left heel is high. Left knee is under your left hip. And then really feel your inner thighs squeezing towards one another. So we're staying stable and strong in the lower body. Four more here, go for Three, two, now I want you to stop halfway with the arms, pulse the arms, little up, little up. Now option, drop your hips, go drop, and drop, and drop. Things change really soon. So if you're feeling a lot of heat into your right quadricep, that's a good thing. Most of this series is gonna be focused on the right leg. As we transition into more focused seat work, I'm gonna keep going, all my power just went out. <laughs> oh, it just came back, good, sorry. <laughs> As we transition, into more focused seat work. Things, let me things are beating at me. We're gonna do it more to the left leg. I'm so sorry. Eight more pulses, go. Eight, six, go four, three, two, hold it low, inhale. Now as you exhale, I want you to extend your arms forward, and then I want you to hinge your torso forward, extending long through the back left leg, yes. Now from there, arms stay straight, just sweep them back behind you, pulse them up, go a little up, little up, little up. Continue to drive down with your front right heel. Feel your right hip pull back. Left leg is nice and long, so you're in this airplane position from the crown of your head all the way to your left toes. Eight more pulses with the arms, go eight, six, go four, three, two, hold the up, take the tiniest bend in the elbows, and extend the arms straight, faster, go bend, reach, bend, reach. Palms are facing each other, shoulders are soft, back of the neck stays really long, go reach, and reach. Well, that was certainly exciting, having all the power go out. <laughs> You're here for eight more, six more, go for three, two, hold the length, inhale. Now as you exhale, slide the arms forward. Take both weights into your left hand. Right leg stays as it is. Take this back left foot, step it just behind the block. So it's like a little kickstand here. Find a single leg deadlift. So you're hinging your torso forward, pulling your right hip bone back. From here, nice and slow, we're gonna rise up. Two, three, four, we're gonna hinge it forward. Two, three, four, we drive the heel into the block and stand nice and slow, pull the right hip back, keep the spine nice and long, you've got it up, and two, and three, and four, take it forward, and two, and three, yes. Now notice, if you're taking a ton of weight into the left toes, really try to keep the left toes just as like a balance point, as a little kickstand. Keep the majority of weight into your right foot. Two more times, it's up, and two, and three, and four, you take it forward, and two, and three, last one, we've got it, go, it's lift, and two, and three, hinge it forward, four, three, stay in this deadlift, narrow row, left elbow pulls, go pull, and reach, it's pull, so both weights are in this left hand, 
You're continuing to drive your right heel down into the block. Yes, you've got this go. It's in and back. I warned you it was a long series. <laughs> We're going to use the wall coming up next. Four more, go four. Three, two, hold the row, squeeze the elbows back one inch, go squeeze and squeeze and squeeze. You've got it here for eight. Things change in six. Things change in four. Three, two, hold it there. Inhale, extend the left arm straight. As you exhale, I want you to step up onto the right foot. Take your right hand to the wall, bend your left knee and bring your weights into the knee crease. Now if two weights is too much, just drop down to one, okay? Bring your left hand to the wall as well and square yourself off. So you're hinging forward in the torso, using the wall to help support you. Lower the left leg down to meet the right. Exhale, donkey, kick it up. It's inhale down. It's exhale up. Yeah, you've got it. Inhale down and exhale up. So we're still really deeply working our supporting right leg. But now we're also layering on Hamstring work, then glute work for the left leg. Two more times, inhale down, and exhale up. One more time, it's inhale down. Now hold the lift, just squeeze your weights. Go, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Pull your right hip back, and shift a little more weight into your left palm here. Keep the abdominals strong, and continue to press your left thigh up to the ceiling. Eight more squeezes, eight. You're almost there, go six, two more variations, four, three, two, hold the squeeze, externally rotate the left leg, rotate it back to parallel, turn the left leg out, turn the left leg back to parallel, so the left thigh bone is rotating in the socket, nothing else is moving, two more times, rotate left thigh open, and close, this time rotate it out, hold it, pulse your left thigh up to the sky to finish up, and up, and up, pull your right hip back, squeeze the weights between your left knee crease, and feel your outer left glute, fire to lift your left leg higher, 16, 15, final hold for this series, on this side, is on deck, I promise, eight more, up here, go eight, go six, squeeze the weight even tighter, four, three, two, hold that lift, inhale, exhale, squeeze the weight, lift the left leg, and hold right here, for three, for three, for two, for one, rise up, take the weight out, step off of the block, take your feet wide, <laughs> wide leg forward fold, chaos has ensued at the Bar with Mary studio. <sighs> Just enjoy a forward fold. One more time, take a big inhale, and let it go. Bend your knees, push down with your heels, and roll yourself up very slowly, one vertebrae at a time. Set yourself up for the second side. So I'm going to face the other direction, just so I'm still open towards you the whole time, but you don't have to. The block is a few feet away from the wall. You're gonna grab your weight, taking one weight into either hand. We're gonna take that whole series on the other leg. The arms will look a little different sometimes though. So your left foot is gonna come on the block, Right foot is going to come on the floor, so you're in that squat position. Squeeze the weights together and sink the hips low, coming into this beautiful squat, really driving your left heel down into your block. Now from here, nice and slow, inhale, rise, and exhale, lower. Push down with your left heel to come up. Lower down, let's take it faster. Go up and down. You take it, rise, and squat. Yes, stand and squat. So as you move here, try to find long breaths. Try to find that you keep a positive attitude as you attack the second side. I know for me, I sometimes talk myself down <laughs> when I found a series really challenging. So let's try to attack it with that same positive energy, the same level of confidence and commitment we had on the first side. Four more here, go for it. That was your pep talk for the day. <laughs> Go to last one, hold it low. Send the arms out in front of you. Flip the palms to face your thighs. Wide arm row. Go row and squeeze. Go row and squeeze. So this time, elbows are pulling back. Palms are facing the floor. You have this goal post position as you row the arms back. 
go, it's row and squeeze, row, four more times, go four, three, two, hold the row, squeeze the elbow tips, back go, little squeeze, little squeeze, stay low in the legs, soften the shoulders, and again, check in, find the strength in your abdominals here. So same alignment, same strength we had in our abdominal series, long spine, low belly band is pulling back, sides of the waist are wrapping in towards center, go eight, six, here for four, three, two, squeeze the weights together, drop your hips little down, little down, little down. So again, check in, how much weight are you putting into your right foot? I want you to put more weight into your left foot on the block. So left heel is driving down into the block. Hips are pulling back. Here for eight, seven, six. Yes, you're here for four, three, two. Stay low, inhale. As you exhale, right foot steps back. Chest lifts up, shoulders stack over the hips. Now lower down into your lunge position. Let your arms extend to the floor. Spin your palms forward this time. Take a bicep curl, press it up, flip the palms to your shoulders, extend it down, pick it up, go in and press and down. So we're taking a little flip from the bicep curl, whoa, to the overhead press. So as you lift, flip your palms to face one another. And as you lower, flip your palms to face your shoulders. Yes, go in and up, down, extend. Now really feel your left hip pulling back as you drive your left heel into the block. Feel your back right hip spinning forward and really squeeze your inner thighs together. Two more, go in and up and down. Last time here, go in and up. Stay low, keep the bicep curl. Go in and up, you got it, in and up. Back right heel is high, right knee is under your right hip. Shoulders stay stacked. And then really try to soften in your face and soften in your neck. So this second side is probably feeling more fatigue much earlier because we worked both sides on the first round. Four more curls, go four. That's okay, that's to be expected. Two more, go in. Last one, hold the curl halfway in. Pulse the arms a little up, little up. Now option, drop the hips, go drop and drop and drop. Yes, you've got it, down an inch, down an inch. Feel the shoulder blades drawing down the back. Continue to breathe, it's eight more, six more. Go four, three, two, stay low, inhale, extend the arms forward. As you exhale, hinge the torso forward, extending that back right leg nice and long. Sweep the arms back behind you. Pinky fingers squeeze in towards one another. Go, squeeze and squeeze. Feel your left hip drawing back here. Push your left heel into the block. Soften your shoulders. And then even though you're hinging forward, make sure you're not arching into the low back. So keep the abdominals hugging in. Keep the ribs knitting together. Eight more squeezes. Eight, six, Go four, three, two, hold that squeeze, flip the palms up so they face the sky. Start to pulse your arms up and up and up. If this is uncomfortable, you can always flip your palms back down to face the floor. Eight, six, go four, three, two, hold that lift, inhale. As you exhale, weight sweep forward. Both weights come into your right hand. Now from here, take the back right foot and step it forward just behind your yoga block. I'm just gonna adjust my foot on my block a little bit here. There we go. <laughs> so left knee is still deeply bent. You're hinging your torso forward. So you're in the single leg deadlift. Pull your left hip back, and then driving your left heel down very slowly. Rise it up, and two, and three, and four, and hinge it forward, and two, and three, and four. You've got it up, and two, and three, and four, and hinge it forward, and two, and three. Now keep this really slow, and check in how much weight is in your right foot. Can you use it 
just as a little balance point for yourself. So the majority of our weight is driving down into our left foot here. Take it forward, and two, and three, and four, and lift it up, and two, ready, last time, take it down for four, three, hold that deadlift, right elbow rows, go row, and reach, you've got it, row, and reach your elbow, squeeze, and reach, keep the left hip pulling back, as you continue to drive down through your left heel, softening into the left knee, so we're not locked out in the left leg, four, three, two, hold the row, little squeezes back, right elbow, squeeze, and squeeze, and squeeze, supporting left leg is on fire, <laughs> at least mine is, eight more squeezes, eight, six, go four, three, two, hold that squeeze, inhale, as you exhale, extend the right arm straight, stand all the way up on that left foot, now I'm just going to do one weight this time, so that I don't have that same big crash at the end. <laughs> Bend your right knee, bring the weight back behind your right knee crease. Hinge forward, bringing your hands to the wall or the chair, whatever is in front of you. Square yourself up so you're still in parallel. The hips are pointing down towards the floor. Right leg is gonna lower to meet the left and press it right back up. You've got it, inhale down and exhale up. It's inhale lower and exhale lift. Now, Left knee still has a little soft bend to it. Pull your left hip back. And maybe shift a little bit more weight into your right hand that's pressing into the wall. Two more, it's lower. And lift, you're almost there. Last one goes down. Now hold the lift, just squeeze your weight. Go, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Now weight is totally optional here. If it's too much, just do this body weight, okay? It's squeeze and squeeze. You have two more variations. And then you are basically done with class. Eight more squeezes, eight, six, go four, three. Hold that squeeze, inhale. As you exhale, we're gonna externally rotate the right leg, so turn the right leg out. Rotate it right back parallel, it's two counts open, and two counts close. Yes, you've got it, rotate open. And rotate close, whoo, it's rotate open. Nothing else is moving, just your right thigh bone open. And close two more times. You've got it open. And close. Now turn the right leg out and hold it. Squeeze your weight. Just pulse your right leg up. Go up and up and up. It's a little pulse. Right thigh goes lift and lift. Pull your left hip back. Square the hips. Yes, you've got it. 16 more. Go 16, 15. Final hold. And then, like I said, short, short push up series on the other side. It's eight, six. Your hold in three, in two, here's your hold. Squeeze the weight, inhale. Exhale, right thigh higher. Maybe left knee bends. Hold and breathe right here. Four, three, two. Stand up, take the weight out. Step off the block. Wide leg, forward fold. Ooh, set the weights off to the side. You are done with your weight. You are done with your block. <sighs> Just enjoy a nice stretch here. That was intense. <laughs> Maybe sway the hips. Maybe shake out the head. If you prefer a different stretch, please take it. Big breath in. Big breath out. Lock your hands over to the right. Coming into your high plank. Now I'm going to take this series from my knees. If you are advanced and you want to take it from your toes, absolutely do that. Okay, eight push-ups and then into a downward dog. Let's do it together, ready? Big breath in, big breath out. Let's go, eight push-ups down and up. Seven, six, five, four more times. Go, four, three, two, last one, downward dog, hips high. Any variation you need, now, if this is too much on your hands, you could always do this whole series with your hands on the wall, okay? Take a big breath in and a big breath out. We're gonna do that same thing two more times. Lift up to your tippy toes, roll through your spine. Now option to stay here or to join me down on your knees. Eight push-ups, go down and up. Seven, six, five. Yes, you've got it, four more. 
three more, two more, downward dog, lift the hips high. We're just going to do that one more time, but full disclosure, on push-up number eight, I want you to come just halfway down, and that's where your final hold is going to be, okay? Big breath in, big breath out, up to your tippy toes, roll through the spine, high plank, or knees down, last time, eight push-ups go down, and up, you got it, seven, six, five, four more, it's four, three, two, now this one I want you to take just halfway down and hold it, draw the shoulder blades down the back, lift the abdominals, and then maybe lower your chest one more inch, hold right here for four, hold here for three, hold here for two, child's pose, Ooh, we did it, big toes together, walk the arms forward and just melt your heart down to the mat. <sighs> that was a very exciting class. So many things happened. <laughs> Please forgive all the technical difficulties. I don't know if you can call me dropping a weight with a ginormous crash, a technical difficulty, but we'll go with it. <laughs> Take a big inhale here. And a big exhale. Shift your hips forward, coming to all fours. Hips are gonna stay where they are. So walk your arms out in front of you for a puppy dog pose, melting your forehead down into the mat. Reaching your sitting bones up to the sky as you push the tops of your feet down into the floor. Opening up in the shoulders and the chest that we just worked with that push-up series. Big breath in. And a big breath out. Walk your hands back in, and then gently slide your left shin forward, coming into a pigeon stretch. Let your right leg extend long back behind you. Inhale, lift the chest. You can stay here as, as you exhale, if you'd like, you can walk your hands forward, sleeping your pigeon. And if pigeon is just not a good stretch for your body, feel free to take a figure four, whether that's seated or laying on your back is totally your call. Feel your left hip bone pulling back and your right hip bone spinning forward. Let's take two big breaths here. Inhale. Let it go. One more time. Breathe in. Let it all out. Slowly walk yourself back up onto your hands to slide your left shin back. And then switch right shin slides forward. Left leg extends long behind you. Inhale, lift the heart. And then maybe you walk the hands forward to sleep the pigeon on the side as well. If you're taking a figure four, just go ahead and switch to the other side of your figure four stretch. Feel your right hip bone drawing back here as your left hip spins forward and down. Let's take two big deep breaths. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Breathe in. Let it all out. Slowly walk to your hands. This time just go ahead and roll onto your right hip so you can come to a comfortable seated position, any position that feels best in your body. Inhale, sweep the arms high. Exhale, let them go. One more time. Inhale, sweep the arms high. Exhale, let it go. That is your class. Amazing work. That was really hard. Okay, please 
comment and tell me that that was really hard for you too and that wasn't just me. I am like a sweaty, sweaty mess <laughs> over here. I hope that you're feeling really strong. I hope that you're feeling really accomplished and you are more than halfway done. Three more days of this challenge. I will be back here, same time, same place tomorrow and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. See you again soon. Thank <music> you.